you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wakanya Muko! Wakanya Muko! Vijana Muko! Wamama Muko! Ah, Asante Sana! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, let me address him like that. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. This is the first time I'm addressing him like that. You'll excuse me. All, all the leaders, all the leaders who are here, all friends and wananchi ambayo wamefika hapa siku ya leo na wale ambaye wanatuangalia kwa nunginga nimewasalimia nyinyi wote kwa jina la Mungu jina la Yesu Kristo hamjambo hamjambo God is good and all the times yes God is good and that is his nature. Today, I feel highly honored and pleased to stand before you. To stand before you. Just bring one message today. I'm talking on behalf, of course my own behalf, also talking on behalf of their family the Odinga family and the Odinga family who are here please just stand because I want to recognize you Come forward, so I see. Auntie Berry, I can see you. Please come forward. Auntie Berry, come forward. Yes, I, I just want to quickly introduce members of the Odinga family. Some of them are very familiar faces that probably requires no introduction. Um, with my elder brother-in-law, Dr. Uburo Ginga, Dr. I'm also here with my other sister-in-law, Nyakamani, Adia Mweshimiwa Ruth Odinga. Thank you. While I'm still, while I'm still talking about my sister-in-law, While I'm still introducing my sister-in-law, I would like to project back there, Beryl Achieng Odinga. She's over there, my other sister-in-law. Wow. Now, I, I'm here with my other... The, uh, now, my sister, another sister-in-law, Mweshimewa Tabu Osewe Odinga. Please come forward so that I see you properly. Anna. My Nyeka co-wife, Dr. Anna Oguru Odinga. Thank you, Dr. Ari. Oh, I'm also here with my sister. I'm also here with my
my sister, Honorable Clarice Oyo. Thank you. Wow, 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 wow. Woo. The family is big. I'm here with another sister of mine, my younger sister, Eunice Koni Sigei. She's from Bomet, but she's my sister. Hey, come, come. Jack is my nephew. Jack, come on. Jack Oburu, my nephew and his lovely wife. Thank you very much, Jack and his wife. Elijah Oburu and his lovely wife, Nyamasai. Thank you, the two of you. And hey, come, come, Papa. My two nephews. My two nephews who are also happen to be Ghanaians. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. There is Papa. Sankara Busia and Papa Busia. The two are Ghanaians. Thank you very much. Hey, come and see you. Cheesy. Cheesy. Of course. Ah. And my niece, Cheesy. And his son, Lion Amolo Diga. Standing over there on top of the car, standing over there on the top of the car is none other than the famous Winnie Mandela Odinga. There she is. So, thank you. So, what I'm going to say is actually on behalf of all the Odingas that you've seen here. It's also on behalf of the family. It is not every day that I get opportunity to talk to such a big crowd of people who love us. It is not every day that I come to talk about what I'm just about to talk about. Today in the family in the life of the family, and the life of Kenyans, and the life of many, many friends and relatives, those who are here and those who are not here, I know there's only one thing that you want me to say, and I'll say it again. I'm going to say just something small about Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. As a good friend, and as my dear husband, somebody I've known for many years, I know what he's capable of doing. And one thing, the passion that he's had for the many years that's been over 40 years is the love for this nation. It is the love for the people of Kenya. For many years, Raila believes, let me call him like that, you'll excuse me if I don't put Honorable. He believes that Kenya can be a good place better than what we have today. And I know he's capable of making Kenya a better place than we have today. Every time we see many young people, like the young people I see in front of me, and the young people who are not here, we always, uh, he always worries about the future of these young people. What kind of nation are we going to leave for these young people? These young people need education, and when you talk of education, quality education, that will propel them to become responsible citizens of this nation. These young people requires medical care, medical care so that they can have healthy bodies to be able to perform the jobs that they are required to perform. These young people, 
most of them needs meaningful jobs. And the meaningful jobs can only occur if we perfect and resurrect our industries, our farming activities, our tourism, our mining, and many other activities that we not, that have gone down. It pains me when I see most of the time, most of the time, we depend on things that are imported that can actually be produced in this country. I fail to understand sometimes what can we do so that we don't import eggs as if chicken in Kenya stopped laying eggs. It hurts me when import sugar when our farms, sugarcane farms, and probably I let, let you know that my mother was a sugarcane farmer. The sugarcane are rotting in the farms. We must put our act together. And my dear friend, Honorable Raila, I know you are capable of doing this and many more. perform and to do what you need to do for the multitude of people who are here and those who are watching outside who are not here. I know you will not let them down. And to Ananchi, the people of Kenya, I release Raila to you today. Senator Okongo Mugeni Senior Council.